Hello everyone, in this video I am going to teach you about what is keep relay that is used in Phanuc CNC's. I think most of the Phanuc CNC persons will know about the keep relay but that's not a problem. If you are new to uh, Phanuc CNC, uh, that's not a big deal. I'll teach you from the basics. Uh, in this video particularly we are going to learn what is keep relay and what are the functions of the keep relay and how it is enabled how it is look like in led diagram so these are the things we are going to learn so don't miss the video keep watching okay so now let's talk about what is keep relay see here the keep relay is a fun of k parameter so they are calling uh, some person will call k parameter some person will call keep release or bypass release like that so far as for this video i'm i'm taking uh, just k parameter so this k parameter for maintenance and debugging personnel the use is still very wide so they're saying for maintenance and debugging personnel the use of the keep release is still very wide okay uh, this keep release is uh, holding type relay is a non-volatile memory keep release are non-volatile memory so even if the power is cut off its storage content will be not last okay so we are you're running the machines you enable some of the key release so that time uh, machine has shut down machine has shut down so again you are turning it on your key relay data won't be last it will be in the previous values so uh, data won't be last after the power loss or power off okay so now what's the question is do you know its function if yes you can comment it below so if you don't know then we can say it see uh, here is the function of the k parameter first one is some machine functions can be turned on and off maybe machine builder will do some of the machine functions uh, uh, separate uh, separately for something chip conveyors and a lot of function is there for uh, you can turn off or turn on the chip conveyors using this k parameter so th this is one of the example okay the second point Second point is some external alarms can be shielded. So what does this mean? What is this external alarm? I'm giving in one simple example. You just understand. Um, I'm, I'm having an input conveyor to feed the pass to my CNC. So in that conveyor, uh, I'm getting I'm getting the alarm. What is that alarm? Uh, conveyor is not rotating. Okay. So by, by troubleshooting that alarm, I came to know my conveyor detection conveyor rotation detection sensor is ng but my conveyor is still running so that time we have to shield that alarm okay because our conveyor is still working the sensor is ng right now i don't have a spare okay maybe in future i will change the spare so until that i have to shield that alarm so using k parameters we can shield that alarm so this is what means some external alarms can be shielded next one is some system interfaces can be hidden Okay. I'll show this uh, later in this video. So the next one is it can play a maintenance role in PMC and it can be used as an auxiliary signal in PMC. Uh, as I said for the external alarms, uh, we can bypass the sensor input. So like that, it will give the auxiliary signal to the sensor. Uh, to the sensor me. So I'm, I'm using an X0.0. So instead of x0.0, I'll give a key, key, key relay k0.0. So I will turn permanently. I will turn on k0.0. So it will give the sensor signal. Okay. Instead of the rail sensor. So this way I can bypass bypass the alarm, shield the alarm. Okay. So this is the axle signal in PMC. Okay. Next, system k parameters play a special function. Actually, we have a normal uh, k parameters and special k parameters also. System k parameters comes under the special uh, keep release. I'll show you in the video later. Okay. So next one is uh, this one is the PMC keep relay screen. If you open the PMC keep relay screen, you will find a screen like this. Uh, here will be address and here will be data. Uh, data. So for example, I'm taking k0. Okay, so K0 mean this is the um, octal number system K0 to 7, so 8 bit K0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 6, and 7. Okay, K1, K1.0, 1.1, up to 1.7. So these are the key release. So by, by getting the screen, here we can bypass the signals uh, in our latest custom latest and normal latest, latest one, latest two. 
and DCS PMC also is there. So in DCS PMC also we can use this uh, keep release. So if you open the keep release, that uh, that screen will be uh, like this only. Next one is PMC parameters key. So uh, in this, in my machine is running in auto mode. So that time I'm getting an alarm, which is which can be shielded. So now I want to shield, but it's in auto mode. Okay, is it possible to shield? Yeah, it's possible. So for that, we have to make ramp write enable into one. If it is zero, we cannot change the K parameter in auto mode. Okay, if you want to change your K parameters in auto mode or the, while the machine is running, so you have to make a RAM write enable into one. Hi, you have to give yes. Then only you will be able to uh, modify the K parameters in the auto mode. Otherwise, you cannot. Okay, so the next one is keep relay addresses. Uh, already I told to you some uh, system function is there, system keep release. So these are all the system keep release. See, some system keep release. Here we can lot of, uh, here we can bypass or enable lot of system functions. For example, I'm taking a safety circuit interface, uh, safety I O unit. By using K9 to 8.7 and K9 to 9.0, I can enable or disable safety circuit interface by using this keep release okay so normally we don't do these things uh, with the this keep release um, i'll show you how to enable this keep relay actually uh, in normal mode we cannot able to see this in our uh, keep relay area we can monitor uh, like we can see the k900 901 but we cannot monitor the values actual values of the keep release so that is the system area see in system area we have k900 to k9999 so 100 bytes. So these are all the special key release. Non-volatile memory control address is K90 by 909. Okay. So these are all the some uh, system key release. You can pause the video and you can note it down or you can take a screen uh, screenshot. Okay. We'll move to the next slide. See how to display parameters of the K900. I already told to you this, uh, this is normal mode. This is in MDA or auto something. Okay, uh, if the emergency is not pressed, our keep relay values will be like this. There will be an empty. We cannot monitor the value. See, after pressing the emergency button, we can see the actual values of the K900, of the K900 up to K999. Okay, by pressing emergency button, we can monitor the values, we can change the values also. And this is the user keep release. I'm saying I'm taking K15.7 for an example so if it is if this is disabled we cannot use the plc function for example uh, in my later program i'm going to create a custom uh, custom ladder uh, to control the chip conveyor so in the chip conveyor i have made the all the logics uh, which is going to control the uh, chip conveyor so now i'm going to run uh, it's getting running but its output is not turned on its output is not getting response Okay, my input is okay, it's getting signal. We can monitor the input signal from the monitor, it's getting signal, it's getting turned on, it's getting turned off. But output in output side, we have no response. So that reason is K15.7 is disabled. If you enable the 15.7 uh, keep relay, then we will able to use the custom PLC function. So now, uh, after enabling this one, we will get an output in the chip conveyor. So like this, um, some of the machine builders will do a custom keep release. They will make K14.0 for something, K14.1 for something, to shield something, to enable something, uh, to bypass the door, or to buy, uh, to enable the manual fading button. So a lot of options is there. Depending upon the machine builder, they will decide what are the functions uh, to be controlled by K parameter. If you are the builder, you can assign what are the uh, function is going to be controlled by our user keep release so you can decide uh, when you when you make programming that time you can decide that time you can set, uh, uh, allocate particular keep release for particular functions so this is a way how to use keep release in our programming okay so the next one is this is a pmc screen if you if you go to pmc letter screen you, you will find like this letters and ranks See, this is a key release, K18.2 and 4.0. See, here I can give the access signal to this coil, R546.1. So this is how 
uh, we can give the access signal or bypass or enable or disable using keep release okay guys thanks for watching i think you have learned a lot about uh, keep release if you like this video please share this video with your friends we will see you in the next video